The story of this great and pious and righteous Prophet and Messenger of Allah, Prophet Uzair. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in the Quran Kareem, and about that man that went past his village, it was a village that was a dead village. Before, it was a well-civilized, settled village, but then something happened to that village. As some of the scholars say, it was the time of Bani Israel. And Prophet Uzair came after the time of Musa alayhi salam. And Prophet Uzair was one of those prophets to Bani Israel as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed Bani Israel with so many different and number of prophets and messengers. But Bani Israel never appreciated the number of prophets and messengers that Allah azza wa jal will continue to send to them. And at that time, Bani Israel transgressed and disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For that, many different nations picked on Bani Israel and some of them destroyed Bani Israel, enslaved some of the members of Bani Israel. And at that time, Bani Israel started to forget the Torah and neglected teaching the Torah and neglected learning the Torah and neglected take care of the Torah. So the Torah was nearly to be lost amongst Bani Israel. Uzair alayhi salam was that Prophet that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed to memorize the Torah. And it was the only man amongst Bani Israel at that time and era that memorized the Torah and knew of the Torah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted a miracle to appear on the hands of Uzair. So the people of Israel, the children of Israel can respect Uzair even more. And not only that, but can return to the book of Allah Azza wa Jal and the divine revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon Uzair. So Prophet Uzair went past his village and that village is to belong to the people and the children of Israel. And that village has been destroyed. It's been destroyed, it's been cut down, it's trees, the, the houses of that village have been destroyed and demolished. So Uzair alayhi salam went past that village and he was amazed to see the state of that village after it was a vibrant and alive village, it's been destroyed and the people are no longer living and the inhabitants of that village are no longer there. So he said to himself, how would Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revive this village and bring it back to life the way it used to be? Not that he's doubting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will do so, but he is just asking that question where this village used to be at and where the village is at now. Allah Azza wa Jal wanted a miracle to appear. He had with him his donkey and he had some food. Some of the scholars say it was a bunch of grapes and a bit of bread. So he sat nearby that village, looking at that village from far. So amazed, so shocked to see to the state of that village and the condition of that village. So he ate some of the grapes they had and ate some of that bread and then he rested under the tree. And he rested early in the morning and then he slept. Allah Azza wa Jal wanted a miracle to appear. Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala made Uzair sleep for 100 years. He slept for one full century. Then Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala resurrected him. He didn't die. Uzair found himself awake in the afternoon. So he thought he slept maybe half a day or maybe a day or two. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to him an angel in which this angel will ask him and obviously the angel came in the appearance of a human being. He said to him, how long did you sleep for? He said, I slept maybe a day or half a day. So this angel will say to him, you slept for 100 years. You didn't sleep one day, you didn't sleep half a day, but you slept for 100 years. That was a shock to Uzair alayhi salam. He had a bunch of grapes and a bit of bread and he had his, his donkey. His food and grapes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kept them undamaged, unchanged. But his donkey, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made his donkey die. And not only that, his donkey turned into dust. 
So Allah wanted to show him the miracle how Allah revives the dead, whether to be a human being, an animal, food, or even a village. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in front of him, him sighting everything with his own eyes, Allah azza wa jal made the donkey come back alive the way the donkey was before 100 years. So Allah azza wa jal wanted Uzair to realize that Allah can revive whatever he wants. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can revive the dead. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can revive the human being who is dead. Allah can revive the animal in which is dead. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can also revive the village. That 100 years prior and before to that, when he visited that village, that village was destroyed. And in that village, there was not even one human being, one person living in there. After 100 years, when Uzair alayhi salam woke up, he went back to that village and he saw that village once again vibrant and alive. People are living in that village. People had settled in that village. People have houses in that village. People have farms around that village. There is the market. There is people there. The village is so vibrant and alive. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answered Uzair alayhi salam when he says, how could Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revive this dead village after it's dead? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revived it and Allah azza wa jal showed Uzair how Allah brings the dead back alive, whether to be a human being or even an animal. Not only that, even when there's a dead village, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rejuvenated it, Allah azza wa jal revived it. And then when he went to the village, Uzair alayhi salam had good reputation amongst the people of Israel. He had a very good reputation amongst the children of Israel. And he was known to be a righteous, pious man. And not only that, he was also known to be the only man that memorized the Torah. So after him slept for 100 years, the Torah vanished amongst the children of Israel. They had no connection to the Torah, except very little of what they've heard from their parents and their grandparents. So when Uzair woke up after 100 years, he went and visited that village. And then the people of that village surrounded him. And then they asked him, who were you? He asked himself, what do you know about Uzair? What have you heard about Uzair? So Ibrahim responded, Uzair is that righteous man, that pious man that died over 100 years ago. And he was the only man that knew of the Torah. He was the only man that memorized the Torah. So he said to them, I am Uzair. So people said to him, how could we even believe it? How do you verify that? You've been dead for 100 years. Uzair has been dead. Where were you 100 years ago? Where were you before this time? So no one believed that it was Uzair. So Uzair asked, is there anyone that lived during the time of Uzair? So the people said, yes, there's an old blind woman that lived during the time of Uzair, that met Uzair when she was 20 years old, and now she is 120 years old. So he asked for that woman. So they called the old blind woman to him, and then they asked her, how does Uzair look like? So she started to describe Uzair, and every description that she described on Uzair, Said that to be accurate and 100% applies on Uzair alayhi salam. So he said, I am Uzair and I am the Prophet and the Messenger of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made me sleep for 100 years. 100 years he slept for. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then brought him back into this world. And then the people and the children of Israel surrounded Uzair. They loved Uzair so much. They respected Uzair so much. And Uzair revived the Torah amongst the children of Israel at that time. And he was the reviver of the Torah and the teachings of Musa, the religion of Islam amongst the people and the children of Israel at that time. They loved him so much. They were attached to him so much that they ever exaggerated in Uzair that some people and children of Israel said that Uzair is the son of Allah, but Uzair is the prophet and the messenger of Allah. When things were verified and clear to Uzair, he said, now I know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can and he is able to do whatever he wants. His matter Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whenever he wants it, all he commands is to be and it happens. This is the story of this great and righteous prophet and messenger of Allah Uzair alayhi salam.